One of the most popular marketing tactic that most of the universities use is showing their placement rates and saying that we have 100% placement rates in Germany. The Indian education system is used to turning out so many students every single year and of course they have to because there's a huge demand for people who want to study engineering or who want to study something in the medicine field or in law and so on. And they are just having this very nice system where the universities are having these big billboards everywhere saying that they have 100% placement rates. And for parents and for the students, this just looks like a very interesting way to make sure that their future is secure. This is also a way to kind of like shift the blame or not even shift the blame, but like shift the responsibility from yourself to the university because if you study in this university you don't have to worry about anything else you just have to worry about clearing your um, subjects and you know getting scores whatsoever and then afterwards you will be able to get a placement but again what good are those placements when you are sitting for these different kind of interviews and so on then afterwards you're paid anywhere on like you know 12,000 to 15,000 Indian rupees I mean I remember at that time like when we were in the third year our seniors were getting placed and the salaries were like from 12,000 to 15,000 Indian rupees and for civil engineering and that means the work is generally from 8 in the morning till 8 in the evening and you have 6 days a week. Now this is a crazy amount of work and for the amount of money that you're earning it is really not a lot. And again many of these jobs that students take up during the time of their bachelors under the pressure of their parents or under the peer pressure that everybody's you know sitting for placements and so on everybody's getting jobs that they should also get a job. The scope in these kind of jobs for further learning and improvement is very less. That's why when I'm sitting for one-on-one -on -one appointments with different kind of students many times they end up being professionals who are already two three years in their job and then afterwards they're like okay you know i do not want to do this job anymore and i really want to like go to germany i want to explore something further and during those kind of calls i kind of realized that okay like you know this is the moment where this person understands that this is really no longer the right way to go ahead and i actually feel very happy for them because they made the decision to actually take the first step in changing their life and that is very important in germany placements work differently and for this you have to understand the german culture a bit Unlike India where you are, you know, living with your parents till you're 25, 26 or sometimes even 30 or 31 and you're just preparing for different kind of government jobs and so on and you're having this excuse over and over again that okay, this year nothing happened, next year it will happen, this year nothing happened, the year after something will happen. In Germany that does not work. In Germany you start working in different kind of cafes or some kind of like, you know, small shops and so on. At the age of 15 or 16, you're expected to earn your own pocket money. And that builds a specific degree of independence in most of the people who grow up in Germany because they know that the money is not going to fall from just the sky. You have to work for your money. And you generally take a look at different kind of places. You take a look at your newspapers. You take a look at the yellow pages. You take a look at the businesses around and you generally end up finding a job. So it is not such a big problem. Now, for German universities, there is no need for marketing themselves as something, okay, like, you know, we are having the best placement rates or something because most of the students who are studying in German universities, they end up finding jobs anyways. That is not a big problem for them as long as they have done something during their master's other than the master's. You're studying in TUM, let's say, and your entire master's, you just like, you know, learned the subjects and you just cleared the... Uh, exams and so on it is going to be difficult for you to find a job when you compare it with somebody let's say who studied in TUHH but then afterwards they were doing their masters but they were doing a part-time job on the side they were really involved in a lot of networking they were visiting conferences and so on and they have already built the network so for this person who studied in TUHH it is going to be much easier to find a job than somebody who did not do anything else during the entire masters so this is very important and you have to keep in mind that placements in Germany do not happen the way you are actually used to in India. There are no placements in Germany. There are no companies coming in and hiring people in some kind of specific rounds. But what happens on the other hand is, and I'm telling you this from my experience, when I was studying in TU Hamburg, you would have many times some company coming in and hosting guest lectures in your university, in your specific program and so on. For example, at our times, there was one of the deal advisory companies called KPMG. And they came and they would have some kind of a beer evening where all of the students of the program are there and they are talking to the people who are coming from the company and so on, having a beer in the hand and just like generally chatting about things and so on, talking about the opportunities. Because for these companies, getting good talent is also a priority. You will not believe it, but for companies, this is also a big issue. They also want to hire people. They're always looking out for hiring good people. But 
finding those people is a problem and that's why companies have these kind of different drives they have job fairs and you can find a lot of them in your city especially when you're living in a bigger city and sometimes you will have ceos of some kind of startups showing up there so you can like also talk to them and you can talk to them about different kind of opportunities about your work experience and so on and land a job now one thing that i really have to emphasize here is you have to make sure that you're putting the effort from the very first day it says when you're coming to germany okay like you know not technically first day but two months three months in once you start your studies you should start looking for part-time job you should start looking for internship because that is the best way to convert from your part-time job or your internship to a full-time employment now another thing that you have to watch out for in germany and most of the other people will not tell you that is of course germany is not just made of daimler ag or siemens continental bmw Volkswagen, and so on they're not just made of these big companies. 99% of the companies in Germany are small and medium enterprises, which are generally doing business within Germany or between Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. These are the three German speaking countries, which have a very strong connection with each other. So you will find companies like that. And in those kind of scenarios, having German proficiency will make sure that you're having your 100% placement rate, no matter what kind of German university you study in. Another thing that not many people talk about is the Verdeckte Stellenmarkt or the hidden job market, which essentially talks about how you can also go to the employers and approach them for a job, even if they have no listing available on their website. All of this and much more we teach you in our complete course for finding jobs in Germany, which you can use to find a job in Germany in the record time possible because all of the information that you need for a successful job search is in that one single course and you will not find that information anywhere else in such a simplified and detailed manner. So the link for that I will leave in the description. Make sure that you take a look at that and make sure that you do not waste too much time because the longer you wait, the more money you're losing because let's say if you enroll in the course you're able to find a job in two three months earlier this is the extra two three months of salary that you would be earning now by making the investment in the course that you're making right now i've had students in the course who have been able to find a job after enrolling in the course within one month so this is as fast as it can get the last big tip i can give you while leaving this video is do not just take a look at your standard job portals or your you know linkedin zing and so on these are fine these could be complementary ways to look for a job but the way that people get the best responses are still by directly emailing the companies especially in the smaller companies or by you know using the unsolicited application method that works really well and all of that again we will teach you in the course so this was pretty much it from my side do not worry about the placements in germany because that is not a problem at all most of the students who study and finish their studies in germany have some kind of german proficiency for them finding a job is not a problem at all no matter what kind of university you study in because the responsibility in germany to find a job is on the student and it is not on the university like you generally have in india where it's like okay like you know i don't care about how i am going through the course how well i know the subjects or something but i'm just going to have a job just because i'm studying in this university which is nice as a marketing tactic but is very poor for your overall career growth thank you so much for watching this video if you have any kind of questions whatsoever let me know in the comment section below and i will see you in the next one Bye.